Alright, guys, I'm back. It's been a while. Um, so, I kind of needed to talk about this. Um, there's two things I wanted to talk about. Uh, first thing, actually, that I want to talk about is going to be a quick thing. I just watched a video right now from Hirohai, or Hai, I keep forgetting what his name is. I'm going to, how to pronounce his name, I mean, I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description and that video. Um, but... Uh, basically, in the video, he talked about how there was a lot of people saying on Twitter that apparently blocking minors is now considered racist, which is confusing to say the least. How the fuck is that racist? Um, but I can understand how some people can kind of get upset with that. But the thing is, though, is if it's involving 18 plus work, yeah, you need to block minors because... Think about this for a second. You're making 18 plus stuff. And sometimes that 18 plus stuff is either like, oh, you know, it's probably gore or slight gore or it's like super intense kind of scene like in a battle where it's so bad, maybe in a character's arms broken or finger or whatever, or, you know, they're bleeding a lot or, you know, it's like NSFW, sexual content, you know, like maybe semi-sexual, like just like in bikinis or full-on sexual or full nudity and such, you know, all that jazz. Like, if you if you want to make sure no minors see that, it's a good idea to block the minors. Because then if they see it, it's going to be an issue. Now, granted, unless there's some other way to do it where it's like, oh, you know, they are, they are allowed to, you know, look, see some of your stuff, but they are not allowed to see the NSFW ones if possible. But, like, they said a thing where it's like, oh, if you want to view this one, you need to be of age or whatever. It's kind of like that. But the thing is, though, is that blocking minors a little bit on Twitter, especially when it comes to making adult content, yeah, it's a good, good idea to do that. Because, like, I'm not even trying to be sarcastic here. I'm being legit serious. It's probably a good idea to actually block the minors from, like, do seeing your 18-plus work. Because if they see it, that's, that's going to lead to a whole issue with not only their parents probably attacking the artists, but... The parents getting mad at the kids because, you know, why the fuck are they looking at that? Um, all right, aside from that, next thing I want to talk about is actually something that's been stirring up a lot. Uh, I can talk about this because I actually had uh, witnessed this happen before. And also because I had friends who mentioned this to me before a lot. Um, I'm not going to say who, which friends told me and such. Uh, I'm going to keep that on the down low for now. But I will say this, though, is that I have been seeing this happen a lot. Actually, I've seen this happen even before now, actually, thinking about this, like, and it's still stupid to this day. Um, there's a lot of people out there who are attacking a lot of content creators, or not content creators, but artists who create their own characters and such. Uh, sometimes for the dumbest reasons. Like, sometimes they're attacking artists because, oh, you know, maybe because they made an art that looks traced. Uh, granted, some of these things can look traced, but they're more used for references in some way. Now, if you're talking screenshot-wise, that's a maybe. Because sometimes, yeah, sometimes the, the artist will color over um, a certain character to s change their place a little bit to make them different. While uh, some artists may just um, draw the character and find a way to put them in the uh, screenshot to make it look accurate. You know, they're getting to do all that. Uh, granted, yeah, sometimes you're gonna have to actually, like, you know, color over the characters and such so that way you can get it. But it's also the issue of having to try and do it while at the same time getting the background spots there and getting rid of some excess stuff from the character they're tracing over for that screenshot. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Okay, I've done it once. I've only done one screenshot, so I can't really say much for it, but that's what I think. Okay, but other than that, though, yeah, a lot of people attack a, a lot of uh, artists who make OC. Sorry if I keep looking this way, by the way. Um, sorry if you notice, like, every once in a while in each recording, I'll, like, go from looking at the camera to, like, looking over there or up here. Uh, I have a habit of just looking away. It's a problem. But um, going back to this topic, yeah, a lot of artists are getting attacked for this. And now there's mostly getting attacked because of self-inserts. Now, for most of you guys who don't know what self-insert is, I will say it's self-explanatory, but self-inserts are basically when you insert yourself into a drawing or into a series, as if you were in that series, and so on and so forth. So, in when it comes to self-inserts, it's completely fictional. So, if you wanted to self-insert yourself into, say, My Hero Academia, and you wanted to be a student, you could self-insert yourself there as what as the appropriate age you want to be. So, like, if you want to be a first year, you'd be 15, want to be a second year, 16, 
16, third year, 17, maybe 18, depending on how you want to do it. Uh, you want to be pro hero somewhere in your, in your 20s and such. It's kind of like that, basically. Um, and uh, there's a lot of people who do that. There's from younger artists who are like maybe somewhere in their teenagers from like 15, to maybe 18, who do that. And even artists who are like from like 30 to like 20 to 30 who would do that too because you know why not you know it's fun it's it's really fun to insert yourself into this and to think how would things be like if we were in there so like i've done it before i have done it before i've done it once but i never really went through with like making scenarios and stuff i've only done it once and i've made only two arts but i think i'm gonna delete one of the arts because it's stupid but other than that yeah it's like that and this is where the topic kind of gets out of hand. So it turns out there's a lot of people out there, specifically like the younger people in the toxic side of the My Hero Academia fandom, who will like come after the artists who self-insert themselves that are probably about like maybe 30 or so. And, you know, just, just attack them for self-inserting themselves into the series and shipping themselves with a minor. So like, here's an, so an example. Let me give an example. Say if... um. Uh, what's a good example? Uh, okay, say if I was like maybe th like somewhere in my 25 or 35. No, not 35, 25 or 30. And I self inserted myself into my hair academia. I put myself as a teenager. And let's say I wanted to get shipped with, uh, who's a good character I can think of? Um, let's say I wanted to get shipped with Kendo from class 1B. So I want to get shipped to Kendo. So I make myself the appropriate age that Kendo is. So probably like 15, 16, maybe. Uh, I put myself into class 1B. And then, you know, I just make up ideas to make the scenario work. And then boom, shakalaka, me and her are officially dating in the self insert canon. And then, you know, everything's all good. People probably, probably might like, like the story, depending on how well I make it. People might like some of the art that I make, uh, even though my art's shit. Uh, and the next thing you know, there's going to be those few people who are going to be like, I can't believe you're dating a minor. That's like, that's you're the, the worst person in the entire world. You're 30 years old. You're dating a minor. You should be arrested. It's like, bruh, it's fiction. Who gives a fuck? And it's not like I'm sexualizing them either. And that's another thing. Like, people... Apparently, people are thinking... At least the young, toxic fans of My Hero Academia are thinking... Oh, you if you're, like, older than the age of the character... And you self-insert yourself and date them... You're, you're sexualizing them. No, you're not. The only way you're sexualizing them is if you make actual sexual arts or scenarios about it. And, again, it's self-insert. You can change your age to anything... Dude, I could put myself in there and I could probably make myself like, what, fucking 100 years old and still look like a dumbass? Like, it's stupid. It's stupid how people react about that. And it's also fucked up how people will, like, get so upset about it and then even bring up, like, comparing it to the Aaron Clover situation. I won't, I don't fully, fully know much about the Aaron Clover situation. I think my friends had mentioned about it before, but basically from the gist of it that I got was she was an artist who really 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 enjoyed sexualizing like not only her oc but some of the my hero academia characters i've seen some of her art like not the nsfw art but like some of her, her like you know normal safe for work art and i gotta admit she's actually a pretty good artist but like the, hearing how the situation went and then even like people not her not being specific about the ages and such it's like huh okay but here's the thing I could kind of understand when people kind of get iffy one about it, where it's like, oh, you know, you upping the age just to sexualize them is a dumbass reason. Reason you should still be, you know, banned or whatever. Like, I could kind of understand that. Like, not the banned part, but like, yeah, no, like, over, like, upping the age just to sexualize them isn't all good. But you changing your age is like just so that way you can make it where it's a good ship. It works. I'm probably not going to get my point across because I ramble along with words and also because maybe some people might just not listen but basically the gist of this saying is that there's a lot of dumbass people out there who are going after con uh, artists who are self inserting themselves into stuff and attacking them but for most of the time i'm mostly seeing it from high here academia and it's sad because the toxic side is doing it uh if you guys seen on tiktok actually i got into a situation where i was trying to help out some a friend's uh, friend uh who was getting attacked because they were self-inserting themselves to be shipped with Bakugo and then those people were attacking her because you know they're, to they're toxic idiots and they even made it an excuse being like being like oh it's because of people like that aka the artists who self-insert themselves that the fandom is getting so much hate and nah fam it's not because of the artists it's because of you like you're making this such a big deal it's just a self-insert it's fiction relax 
And even if it's like just an original character, maybe it doesn't even have to be a self insert. It could be an original character, and next thing you know, boom, you get a lot of hate for that. Especially if you make your character shift with a character, like a canon character, that nobody wants to be stripped away from like their official ship. So, like, let me give you an example. Uh, Ochako X Deku. That's an official canon ship. Everyone really loves it. It's probably one of the best ships in My Hero Academia, in my opinion. Um, and you could see the, the relationship is there, and it's gonna happen at some point. And you know it's gonna be a strong one because when you look at their bonds, both anime wise and manga wise, yeah, no, they're gonna have a very, very strong bonding relationship. But if you were to have somebody ship, like your own OC ship with, like, let's say Bakugo, I mean, not Bakugo, Midoriya or uh, Uraka. More than likely, there's going to be a few people going to get upset and be like, How dare you break up that ship, you monster? You should be banned and such. Like, people get a lot of butt hurt, like, really quick. I bet I bet you right now, I'm going to say this right now, right now, and see, and I just want to see if anybody is going to attack me for this. And if they do, holy crap. If they don't, because, you know, they're smart enough to know that this is me, me baiting them, good job. But either way, though, Here's an example. I have an OC. I made, I make, I'm, eh, sorry. I make a bunch of My Hero Academia OCs, and there's one main OC I have named Tail Yamagishi. And in his main story, he actually has a relationship with Ochako Uraraka, though I made it a bit complicated in some ways, uh, just to make the story a bit interesting in some ways, and also a little bit like have some real world kind of shit, like kind of thing when it comes to relationships and such. Um, and problems, but I'll explain that. It's not that bad. I won't say it's toxic, but you know what I mean, though. Um, but yeah, no, I ship tail with Ochako. This isn't even me just saying this, like, to, to bait anybody. This is me being 100% real. I've made my OC shift with Ochako, and that was mostly because I am a huge fucking simp for Ochako. I love Ochako. Um, but... Yeah, no. So it's like that. I could say that and then people will attack me for it, like, depending on how, how toxic they are and how down bad they are with the ships. Uh, another one is like how when people ship my hero, I mean, Midoriya with Bakugo, uh, a lot of people had, sh had threatened Mihoyo, not Mihoyo, what the fuck, uh, freaking the creator of My Hero Academia, I'm, I'm gonna butcher his name, so I'm not gonna say it, uh, but they threatened him and about making the ship, like they actually threatened this man. They threatened the creator to make the ships happen or else they will kill him or something like that. And I just thought to myself, like, what the fuck? What do they think they're going to get out of this? Like, they're going to get arrested or even the show canceled because of that. Like, it's it's stupid. To this point, um, a lot of creators out there are getting attacked all because there's those toxic idiots. Uh, I can say there will be some generally good moments when there should be attacked. Like, for instance, uh, people copying someone else's OCs. Uh, people tracing over other people's work, uh, unless, you know, they say, oh, you know, we're using that for reference, or we got permission to use it for reference, or something like that, you know, like that, like, of course, um, taking credit for something that isn't theirs, uh, maybe stealing somebody's story and just altering it to make it seem like it's theirs, not even, re but there's also those moments where somebody can make a little mistake, and get attacked for it, instead of just saying, hey, you copied this person, do you think you could change it? It's like that. Like, it's just it's just the whole situation. I'm just rambling on now, but basically saying, yeah, no. Uh, artists are and creators are getting attacked, and they shouldn't be. Like, not all of them, but you, they should know, though. Like, everyone's all good. Everyone's going to have their own preference, whether it be, you know, just self-inserts or OCs. And, you know, if you don't like it, just ignore it. It's no, like, it's no big deal. There's no reason to start a whole fucking tantrum about it. Just deal with it. Let it be. I mean, what good do you think you're going to get out of it? Just nothing except maybe probably causing someone to have mental problems. Maybe even want to stop drawing now because, you know, this is something they really wanted to do and this attack just messes with them. Sometimes it gets even worse to the point where the person not only wants to quit drawing, but might officially end their life. Like, this is a serious thing. Like, I know I was rambling and being upset, but this is actually serious. Like, you cannot do this shit. Like, it's not cool. What do you think you're going to get out of it? You're probably going to end make someone end their life. And whose fault is it going to be? Your guys's. And I'm pretty sure karma will come biting you in the ass at some point with that. So all I can say is this, is to all the 
the creators out there who love to draw, who love to, uh, you know, make original characters for either like My Hero Academia or even other stuff, or who like to ship their characters or even make themselves in the show and ship themselves with the, their characters they like, like their favorite waifus, uh, husbandos, and so on and so forth. Um, keep doing what you're doing. Be careful what you make. Um, make sure you clarify some things about what the what it is you make. Uh, and to anybody else who like gets attacked by all those other toxic peoples out there who are either jealous or just being complete idiots thinking, oh, you know, this would do good. Ignore them. Just continue doing what you want to do. And if you can't ignore them, that's fine. Talk to somebody. Uh, fence it. Fence about it to them. They'll help you. They'll support you. You have a lot of friends and other artists out there who will be willing to back you up and help you out the best they can. Just know you're not alone and you can continue making your work. Just don't let other people stop you from doing what you love to do, from making what you want to make, especially if it's something you worked hard on. So... Like, if you worked it hard on not only creating this original character of yours, but creating how their relationship with whichever canon character or other character you make or friend made, like, goes, growing from, like, you know, friend, random people to friends to relationship to maybe even to bad times, good times and such, to building up their actual own original story as well. Don't let that let the hate stop you because that's all your blood, sweat, and tears that you're giving up, and you shouldn't give up just because of those toxic idiots. Keep moving forward and ignore them. And just remember, you have a lot of support from other people who will be willing to back you up no matter what. I, for one, will be one of those people because here's the thing: I love when people make their own shit. I love some of the creative stuff they made. Like some of the creative OCs people made, not only just for their designs, but their like powers, their stories, the relationships, the way they went, everything. Like I'm impressed by it. So no, I will support you. Just as long as I know you're a good person. If you're a bad person, that's a problem. But you know what I mean though. You get you understand what I'm getting at. I think I'm gonna end it here though, because I can't really continue on with this. Uh there's nothing more I can say, and I feel like I might ramble on to more uh random stuff. So for now, that's all I wanted to talk about. I do feel like, again, that content creators should be okay and they should just stand up for themselves, but like don't attack back. Just ignore them and continue making what you want. They're going to continue hating and at some point they're going to die down because they're just going to, they, they, they want your attention. Okay, that's the basic point of it. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. All artists, continue doing what you're doing and enjoy making your content uh, and Going back to the miners thing, yeah, no, block miners if you make 18 plus stuff, okay, make mine, blo block them, and to those people who were miners who are now of age, I suggest you actually DM those creators when you're of the appropriate age, like 18 or so, that your age is different now maybe, but that's, a, that's I don't know that you can do that, but you know what I mean. Anyways, that's kind of about it, I'm gonna end it here, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, sorry for rambling on so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios paisanos.